Hello there, this is John Hall of Right Here Pens um, with a review of some new pens from Opus 88. Um, very exciting, they make a lot of new pens or have done recently. Um, mainly variations on theme, I mean they've got four or so basic models. Um, most of them very large pens, but they're all um, eyedropper fillers and mostly pretty big mostly pretty big. But this is a little bit different. Um, you'll see here that it is a premium model. So what does that mean? Well we're going to have to have a look and find out. Well, I've cheated a bit here. It's a standard Opus 88 box I've got to say. But I've put all three pens in here and you will immediately see um, I don't really look like Opus 88's. They've got this really nice mother of pearl material, um, hence the shell pens. Um, they're not demonstrators, the majority of Opus 88 pens are demonstrators. And you can see the um, Japanese style ink valve running down the middle to prevent leakage. But let's have a look in a bit more detail. Well, the first thing that grabs the attention is the material. And they've used mother of pearl in this case in a check pattern, which is, I've got to say, if you like that sort of thing, you're going to be crazy about this because it's really nice, really nice. The other thing to notice is that the knob, this end, and the cap are made of a material that is slightly textured. Um, I don't know what they've made it of. Um, if they told me it was ebonite, I'd probably believe them. And then we have a look to see the nib. Again, the same sort of range of nibs that you usually get with um, Opus 88. So there's a stub. And then extra fine, bleh, up to broad. There we go. Now, one thing I'm sure you're noticing already is the quality of the finish. It's always got an Opus 88, but this is probably just a little bit better. There we go. Right, quite a lot of turns there actually to get the uh, cap back on, but there we go. We like a bit of security, don't we? So this is what they call the black. And a very prized bit of mother of pearl. I wouldn't have said it was black, but it's quite interesting. There we go. And the rest of the pen. Let's have a look here. Much the same. Hang on, I have to look around the camera here to see what I'm doing. So there's that one. And this is stripes for very obvious reasons. And again, a very attractive look. But under the bonnet, much the same. Here we go. So, right, well, we've got this one here, so let's have a closer look. Well, that doesn't do anything. So the knob end is fairly well fixed. Um, you'll also notice that there's a bit of a screw thread there, and that is to take the screw on cap. Now you can Screw it off quite a while if you like to make it really solid, but obviously you don't need to. Just enough to catch, I think, does the job. There we are. Now let's have a look under the bonnet properly and see what we've got here. Well, the first thing to notice is lots of metal. Metal to metal, I like that. And my goodness me, now this is the really big surprise for an Opus 88 pen. It's a converter, it's not a fixed converter, so it does come out. So if you want to use standard cartridges, this has Schmidt on it, as you can see. So it's a standard Schmidt converter. You can. So no massive ink capacity, although I wouldn't be surprised if this took the large um, The large cartridge, so there we go, the full length one. 
So let's pop this back on again. So here we are. Um, the pen, I think given the material and the amount of metal in it is a good bit heavier than usual. I shall weigh it as soon as I get into the shop this morning and post the details on the website along with length and so forth. They're actually not told as a huge amount before the pen was released, but I think they probably wanted to keep quiet because they are lovely. The other thing to say is that they're pretty much all sold out from the Taiwanese end. We've got a few left. Um, it's not a limited edition, so there will be more. But if you're an early adopter and you want to get one soon, I'm afraid you're going to have to really get your skates on. So there we go. Right, so last look. So this is the stripes, which I like a lot. This is the black. Now, hmm, wasn't entirely sure about this, but the more I look at it, the more I think there's quite a bit going on there actually, and it might be a shade easier to live with, who knows. And this is the checks pattern. I think that's very attractive. But of course, depending upon availability, the choice is yours. One thing to warn potential pur purchasers is that they've mostly come in the same box, so they all appear to be um, checks pattern. They're not, so we'll try and send you the one that you've requested. So there we have it. Um, a new pen from Twisby. No, it's not Twisby. It's Obsatio. A new pen from Obsatio. And a very significant change in direction from a very good company. Um, I hope you like them. I do. I do. So it's John Hall from Right Here Pens signing off, encouraging you, if you could, to um, sign up for our site so you'll get notifications of when new, email, new, new videos get posted. And well, there we go. Signing off with the Opus 88 shell pen.